Good morning, and thank you for tuning in on this week's broadcast of GWCP News. Today is Friday, February the 7th, 2020. Today, we will be sending you off to Miss Sheets' kindergarten class. Today, we have Miss Jade's kindergarten class, and we'll be studying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance. Chili cheese fries, I hope they're not that hot, pork and beans, tossed salad, fruit juice, and lastly, very important, your choice of milk. Please remember to thank the lunch ladies. This weekend's weather will be rainy and sunny, so make sure to stay inside so you don't get wet. Next week's, next week's weather should be really rainy. Rain? How are we supposed to play outside then? There's always inside recess which has um, coloring in. So. That's me. <laughs> Coming up next week at Carver, Monday, Donuts with Dad forms get sent out today. Tuesday, early dismissal at 1.15. And also, tonight, we have a father daughter dance. So, girls, get your dresses, get your dad, and see what it takes to have fun. We're off to the father daughter dance. Shake the girl thing, shake the girl thing, yeah, okay. yeah. Uh huh. It's a birthday. Sign for the rap guy. You it's know. Today we have one birthday. Happy birthday today to Emily Ortega. This weekend we have four birthdays. Happy birthday this weekend to Aiden Wiltz, Darielis Cruz, Destiny Jones, Brian Vega, and I want to give a special birthday shout out to Miss Haley. Happy birthday, Miss Haley! Please come at the please come to the office at 8 30 this morning to get your birthday surprise. Did you know pigs can't look up into the sky? It's physically impossible. A shark is the only fish that can blink with both eyes. That's really weird. You know that, right? How, how, wait. So, goldfish only blink with one eye, or do they not blink at all? February is Black History Month. We have a special segment devoted to two African American that shaped American life. George Washington Carver, who our school is named after, was an African American agricultural scientist and inventor. He was born on January the 1st, 1864 in Diamond, Missouri. He was accepted in a Highland University, but when he arrived, they refused to, him, to let him attend because of his race. Then, he attended Iowa State University and was their first black student. He actively promoted alternative crops to cotton and methods to prevent soil depletion, mostly peanuts. He was known as the peanut man. He worked on more than 300 peanut projects. In 1923, he earned the Spring Garden Medal, which is awarded annually for outstanding achievement by an African American. After living a successful life, he died in 1943 at the age of 78. On his grave was written, he could have added fortune to, front, to fame, but caring for neither, he found happiness and honor in being helpful to the world. Hi, I'm going to be telling you about Rosa Parks. Rosa Parks was born at February 4th, 1913. Her hometown was Tuskegee, Alabama. She went to a school that was called Highlander Fork School. She was in an all-black school. Rosa was a civil rights 
activist who refused to give up her seat to the white passenger and was taken to jail. Her defiance led to a Montgomery bus boycott, which launched a nationwide effort to end racial segregation of public facilities. She is considered the first lady of civil rights and the mother of freedom moment. She, she was awarded with the Presidential Medal of Freedom. She passed away in 2005 at the age of 92. Where did the kids go? I don't know. Where did the kids go? Where Surprise! are they?